What's up guys, Jock217 here with a quick little voiceover before the episode begins. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, for these next few episodes that are going to be uploaded, they are actually pre-recorded. Um, because when I first started recording this, I was just like on fire and like on a big recording spree. And I wanted to uh, just keep on going and going and going. Um, if you guys are wondering where I'm at in real life, I am all the way to the part to where I have obtained the power of flight. And I went all the way back to Velweb so I can uh, prepare for Faust. So um, that's how far I am in real life. So obviously I'm not going to upload a three-hour episode of me just going from one place to another after another after another. That would be just way too long. So obviously um, these next four episodes, maybe four to five episodes, are going to be pre-recorded just so you guys know that. So if you guys are in the comments saying, hey, um, you forgot this or you need to do this or so on and so forth, I'll either know that already or um, I'll just, I will have done that already. So just thought I'd let you guys know that before the episode begins. Um, once we get to the part to where I've obtained the power of flight and I am back in Velweb, then we will be all caught up. Just so you guys know that. Alrighty guys, enjoy the episode. What's up guys, Jock217 here, we are back to the blind LP of the Legend of Dragoon. Alright, so we left off here right at the Twin Castle in Fletz, and I just decided just to come straight here, um, after all. So let's get on with it. Dart, I've been waiting for you. What is this? We are seeing you off. We received a messenger from Charles. Her name was Karen. Everything is ready for going to Rouge. The world must not be destroyed. And even if it was not the intention, even if it was the intention of the creator, we are still alive and stuff. I beg of you, please save the world. Commodore Puller is waiting for you in the basement to carry our hope. He's like, kiss the man. So long. All right, let's get going. Well, first, let me save the game. I don't even think I saved the game. Let me go back. Crap, too late. Oh, you are here. Everybody looks confident. Although you are going to an unknown land, there is no hesitation or wavering. Actually, it's my home village. A man of the sea isn't bothered by those little details. Anyways, we are ready to go. We absolutely have to stop the crazy conspiracy to annihilate the world. However, we should never give up rescuing our loved ones, either. Let us get going, darts. Not quite yet, I want to save the game first. The ocean awaits you! I want to save the game first. The Commodore makes it sound simple, but I assume that this time it will be a long journey, won't it? Yes. Then I think you'd better get what you need from the city and come back. Thank you. It's okay, I am happy to help you, Dart. Besides... Please, please rescue Shana. We give you our promise. Of course we will. I'll be waiting for you on the boat. Let's go. Now, right, before I do, I want to save first, because I don't think I ever saved. Oh, I forgot Albert's poison because of the freaking uh, random encounters on the way here. There. Boom. Done. Oh, shoot. I meant to save. God damn it. Alright, save the game, please. Thank you. Alright, let's... Uh... Uh, mount, mount a mortal dragon. I don't need it anymore. There we go. Alright, let's get going. Let's hope and pray to God that I, I'm able to like maneuver my way around and go back to a uh, bellweb. That's what I want. And I don't think there's any stardust here. I already got them all. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Let's go. Yes, we are. Now we are leaving.
cool, I can control it. Sort of. Ah, I forgot about ocean monsters. I didn't think about that. Alright, let's continue. Ah. Okay. Outland Village Rouge. Or Rogue. Alright, let's go. Wow! Sail ho! Wait, isn't this where you're supposed to get the last Stardust? I think this is where you get the last Stardust, and if that's the case, then that means I have to go back. But since I'm here, I might as well get the Stardust. It's been a long time. I wonder if anybody remembers me. Ha Hashel? Does that answer your question? Yeah, it's me. Well, it's been maybe 20 years. You've been gone for such a long time. How have you been? I was looking for my runaway daughter, but I gave up on it. Claire, huh? That's... I feel sorry to hear that. And who are all these people? Are they your new pupils? No, they are my friends. I'd like for you to get to know them. But we don't have time now. I have something important to talk to you about. Alright, come up. I'll listen to you. Come on, get over. The floor is going to give way. Alright, let's look for that final stardust. Alright, well, let's go. I've never seen people who weren't from Rouge. Tell me, what kind of place are you from? I'm not telling you. Why the hell would I tell you that? Alright. Ooh, Stardust in here, maybe? No, but I found a save point. This decoration... Lil... Martel? Martel. Cool, now I found you. Now I know where it is. You folks, you're from this village too, Martel? Martel, now I remember. When I left the village, you were still little. I didn't recognize you. Is she sick? How is she? Not good, but it should be okay with this stardust. Now I'm starting. I beg you folks, save Lil from her illness. <gasps> Nothing. Nani? I feel refreshed. I feel refreshed like before I got sick. Lil! Lil! Ma, I cannot breathe. Let her go. Let's leave them alone. No, 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 no. What the hell? No, no, no. I wanted to... S what the hell? I wanted to go in that room and search for Stardust because I'm pretty sure she has one in there. Let me go back. Thank you. Look, look. I'm so much better. Oh, it's you folks. Lil has become so much better, but if you find more Stardust, won't you give it to me? I guess it's the partiality of a parent. I want to wish for her so that she won't be sick anymore. Keep your eyes open, will ya? Yep. Martel, here. Are you sure? Thank you very much, then. It's my chance to return your favor. Take this! It's the rare thing, I promise. Acquired rainbow earrings. Whatever the hell they are. What do they, those do? They must be pretty damn good. Rainbow earrings. Yeah. Avoids all abnormal status effects. Okay, so that's your ribbon. That's pretty damn good. Okay, well. I'm gonna go next door. Alright, and look around. 
around. Oh, treasure chest. A hundred gold? Really? At this point? Stardust! I found it! And if I recall correctly, somebody told me that this is the place where you get the final Stardust. But I only have 49. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna see if I can go back. If not, then... Okay, we'll just continue with the story, but if I can, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go all the way back to Bellweb, I hope. And, uh, see where I go from there. Oh, shit. No, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. <gasps> oh, there's a treasure chest. Might as well get it. Satori vest. That sounds good. Alright, that sounds pretty good, actually. Um, and it's something that Dark can't wear, apparently. Maybe it's for the girls? Or maybe it's just strictly for Hashel. I don't know. I'll look through it later. I just want to go back. I want to see if I can leave. I need to leave. I need to get that final Stardust. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if I can go get that final Stardust. I hope I can. If not, I'm just gonna have to continue on with the story. Cool, we're leaving. We're just gonna say deuces to Hashel. Are we just leaving Hashel behind? Yeah, I guess we are. Well, bye Hashel. Nice knowing you. Or, or is he still in our party? Is he still in our party? Replace. Oh no, he's still here. Never mind. Okay, well, I'm gonna attempt to go all the way back to Velweb, so I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, guys, we're back. Uh, I tried actually going back to Velweb through the ship, but, uh... That didn't work out so well, so let's just go ahead and get a move on then. Mm, this is a nice little, uh, um, this is a nice little exploring time though, like a little exploration. What's it called? Expedition? Adventure? Something like, I don't, I don't know what it's called. Okay, go down this ladder right here. Climb right down this ladder over here, and let's get going. And do you fight with the sword? Uh, yeah. Do you not see it on my body? Mm. Let's come up here. Go up here. So uh, the only reason why I want to go back so badly is because I have that one Stardust left that I need to get, and I know exactly where it is. I know exactly where it is, too. Okay, let me try talking to this guy. Hey, you said you have an important thing to talk about, didn't you? Go directly to the mayor's place and don't wander around in the practice area. The mayor is waiting for you, right? Okay, yeah, but tell me where he is. It's like, I don't know where to go. Help me. This place is complicated. No, I take that back. The freaking compared to the Death Frontier, nothing is freaking complicated in this game anymore. Nothing. Nothing in this game is complicated anymore. Thank you. Thanks to the Death Frontier. Fuck that place to hell. Okay, I guess there's nothing here. I guess the only reason why I went there was to get that Stardust. Alright. 
Okay. Okay, well, it came up here to get War God's Calling. I forgot what that does. What does that do again? I forgot, what does that do again? War God's Calling. Isn't that like another uber, uber powerful accessory like the Ultimate War God? Oh, never mind. Half damage and SP, never mind. Wonder why they would give us that at this point of the game. Alright, well, I can't find the mayor. Rouge is more like a family than a village. Everybody in the village is a member of a family. There are no animals in Rouge that would attack people, so we don't need protective clothing like you have. There he is. And then Hatchel's just looking around. Hasn't changed a bit, huh? No kidding, this village is forgotten. We rarely have visitors from the continent. All we do is fish and sleep. Fish and sleep. Practice and sleep and practice and sleep. That's about it. Nothing has changed since Hashel left the village. Say, what's cooking? You came all the way here. It must be something important, right? Yep, to be honest, we are looking for the way to the ancient cities. Ancient cities? What the heck are they? Those were towns where the long-gone Wingleys lived. Do you know anything about them? Wingleys? What on earth are they? You lost me. You couldn't know. Let me explain. Meanwhile. And so he explains and stuff like that about what's going on and all this other stuff. A world crisis? That's a pretty awful thing then. That's why we are in a hurry. Are there any old ruins around here? Things that humans couldn't make. How about this? There's a stick rising out from the sea. Could it be Could it be related? Oh, that thing in the sea. Indeed, humans couldn't have made it. Where's that? It's in the middle of the sea, but you can't get close by boat because there's an awful whirlpool. But you can see it clearly from the clifftop. Well, it suddenly came up, so you wouldn't have known about it. Shall we try? Hope it's the one you folks want to go to. I hope so too, so uh... Let's get going, but it said from the cliff top. I don't remember there being any cliff tops. I don't remember there being any cliff tops, so... Um... I don't know, you got me at a loss here. Or, or are we talking about uh, Martel's room? Nope, we're not. Okay, let's just go ahead and try to go back to the entrance and see where we go from there. Okay, let's go back to the entrance. Oh, okay, that guy leaves, so obviously now that's the place to go. Okay. Please, no random encounters. Okay. Alright, good. No random encounters. And why am I still looking for Stardust when I know exactly where it is? Wow. What the hell? That's a stick to them? That must be what the mayor was talking about. There was no stick 20 years ago when I was here. It's huge and more like a tower than a stick. This structure could never be made by human technology. Rose, do you know anything about it? You were there once, weren't you? That's right, Rose is one of the dragoons who liberated humans. Don't you remember anything? Charles, Charles said that the signet spheres remain in the magic city Aglis, the death city Mayful, and lost city Zenobatos. If I remember correctly, there was only the magical city Aglis in this region of the sea. Charles must have made us come here because she thinks Zeke will go after the signet sphere of Aglis first. Rose, a question please. What the heck is the lost city or whatever they call it? What do they mean? 
I was thinking about that too. The Crystal Palace was called the Birth City too. The Birth City Crystal Palace was a city where babies were selected to be born. Select babies? Those with weak magic power weren't allowed to be born. That's awful. And the Death City Maple was where the souls of the dead were sent to an infernal world. Wingleys in the past had even their destination after death decided for them. Do you want to know anything else? Ugh. Do I have to go through all this? The magical City Agnes is the city where magic was studied. It is astonishing that even they had... It would never happen now. You are carefree, Meru. The Lost Cities in Abados. The Lost Cities in Abados was a city where wingly laws were made. Publicly, they claimed it was for justice, but in reality, they were laws to judge other species. Also, trials and executions were carried out in Zinabados. I can easily imagine what kind of trials there were. It gives me the creeps. Alright, let's just get out of here. You really know this stuff. If it is Agless, how can we approach it? We gotta hurry or Zeke will get there first. Well, we cannot go by boat. We gotta find some other way. We're gonna go in by air! We're gonna go by air because we can't go by boat, right? Is this, is this the part where we get the airship? Mirror Room, Agless, the magical city. These people are trying to thwart my plans! What's wrong, Rose? We were being watched by somebody. Being watched? <gasps> What's going on? The, the sea is splitting. Let's go. Oh shit. What is that? The magical city Agnes revealed itself. Hashel, is that what you were looking for? It seems like it. Thank God that it found us. Now we can go in before Zeke. Let's go! Or not. I guess just for sheer plot convenience, the they're just gonna let us in, just like that. Not gonna make us work for it. It's kind of a shocker. Alright. Well, let's go back then. No kidding, you folks are gonna put put to sea, aren't you? We're gonna go. We're going to go. Don't you know what's going on? The sea split and weird stuff's appeared. That's why we are here. You folks are insane! I know we're insane. I laugh in the face of danger. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, there's a road formed on the bottom of the sea. It's true, if we take a boat, we can walk from midway. Let's see, go to return to Rouge, go to the Queen Fury, go to Agless, the magical city. Well, if we go to the Queen Fury, we can um, go to our way back. Hey, screw it, go! There's no need to hesitate, let's go to Agless.
Besides, one of you guys told me that there's a way to fast travel around places, so I'm just gonna keep going until I get that.